Hey Siri Pro. Hey, what's up? The chat best popularity began to skyrocket when they created a partnership with a popular YouTube channel called One Click. By integrating the chat but into their own Siri-like system, they took the chat but to a whole new level. Now, people could use the chat but on their iOS devices just like they would use Siri. This enabled them to do a lot of tasks quickly and efficiently, making the process even more convenient for people. The partnership with One Click allowed the chat but to get even more popular and reach even more people. Wow! Sounds like a good story. All right, everyone, as you can see in this video, I will show you how you can actually connect this open AI chat GPT to your Siri. So you can have even more advanced conversations with them. And the good thing, you don't even need to worry about just to open that chat GPT login and do all this stuff. So with this method, I will show you, you can do it right away with the comfort of accessing the Siri. And you can also use this if you don't like to speak in Siri, if you like the chat version of it, which I will show you as well in this video. So so stay tuned. Check the link below. I already shared a quick shortcut for you guys to download. Once you download it, click on add shortcut and make sure you change the name as pro. So that way you will be able to connect with AI by just telling, hey Siri pro. That way you don't need to wait an additional step. You can easily start your shortcut with these steps you will see here. So I also included the comments below in the shortcut once you download it you'll see the next steps here but let's start how you sign up chat gpt first at open ai as you see you just go to website here are a bit of details i want to show so it talks about like what chat gpt what open ai is how you can connect other pieces of it into your website or whatever you want to do so let's log in what i do is i connect with my google much easier for me All right, so now let's go to this link I shared here. This will allow you to have the API key for your system. So this is specific to your account and it shouldn't be shared with anyone else. So it's just for your shortcut where you will connect it into the shortcut section. I will show you now. As you see, I mentioned here that you need to put it in a bearer section. And where you will find it is here. So get contents of section. You just drop down it and you will see the authorization section. So which size is SK12345? You just replace it with your own key. And you'll need to do it here as well. If it doesn't update automatically, just make sure you do it. And that's it. You're good to go. So just to show you additional piece here. So this piece here at the end of the chat will allow you to save your conversation into the notes. You can just delete it if you don't want it. Make sure you have a folder for it as well. And here you will see exit section. So how you'll exit it. You can put another word like bye, thanks or something like that. Hey Siri Pro. Hey, what's up? Who invented the bike? One moment. The modern day bicycle was invented in the early 19th century by Baron Karl von Dreis, a German inventor. He created the Dreisine in 1817, which is often considered the first true bicycle, as it was fashioned with two wheels of the same size and a bar for steering. How about the electrical ones? The modern electric bicycle was invented by Ogden Bolton Jr. of Canton, Ohio, and the United States in 1895. The electric motor was originally used to power the drivetrain and enable the rider to move forward, but was later adapted to be able to provide extra power to the pedals. Was it a pure electrical bike or did it need gasoline as well? The electric bicycle invented by Ogden Bolton Jr. in 1895 was powered purely by electricity and did not require any gasoline. How was the properties of this, like maximum speed and range? Well, 
One sec. The properties of the original electric bicycle designed by Ogden Bolton Jr. are not known as he did not provide any details on the specifications. It is likely that the maximum speed and range of the bike would have been quite limited as the technology was still very primitive at the time. What is the most recent one you have there uh, with the properties? The most recent electric bicycle models generally have a maximum speed of around 28 to 30 miles per hour and a range of 25 to 50 miles, depending on the size of the battery, the motor power, the terrain and the weight of the rider. Is there any bike that is powered by solar power? On it. Yes. There are several companies that make electric bicycles powered by solar power. These bikes typically have special batteries that can be charged by solar panels, making them zero emission, cost effective, and environmentally friendly. What's the rate of average electrical bikes in terms of total in the world that's being used? The term electric bike is most commonly used to refer to electric bicycles worldwide. It is estimated that there are over 200 million electric bikes in use today, with the majority of these being in China, Europe, and the United States. Exit. That's done. All right, so let's see if you don't want to speak with Siri, you can chat with them as well. So just go to the accessibility settings of Siri, click on type to Siri. As you see, you can just start typing with it very easily. So you can use the same shortcut that way. You don't need to do any changes. All you need to do is just making sure that accessibility settings has changed and then you can just chat it like you can see here. So that's it. The best part on that one, you're just using native uh, option of the Siri. So that's the good part of it. So it, it's very nice and sleek look. So if you don't want to talk with it, you can just use this option. As you see here, it's just uh, telling me about some information around the electrical cars and the history of it. I was asking like uh, some other information around like the uh, properties of those cars and like uh, maximum speed or range it was able to give me all the details very quickly and uh, at the end most of what I do provide me a summary or something with a kind of a two paragraph I like to have like kind of rephrased version of our conversation to see how it looks like and what I do is at the end click uh, and say exit so uh, that exit piece will give you a uh, full summary of your conversation. Actually, full conversation will be saved on your um, notes. Make sure that in the notes section you have chat AI folder if you don't have it. Not sure if it's gonna create automatically or not, but um, that way you will be able to save these conversations in your notes folder when you need to just review them. Okay, let's try the other option. This is the method two. So you can use the shortcut option instead of changing the Siri settings. So you can just add this to your home screen easily. You can make a different name for it. Like here, I just call it maybe chit chat. And then you can also choose the photo that you want. So here I have some um, photos from the uh, Dolly, which is part of OpenAI as well. So I will just Save this one as a logo here. 
as you see now I have a chit chat app so let's give it a try Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe, get notifications and leave a comment if you have any video content ideas or any feedback. Thank you so much. Bye for now.